The destruction of the mangrove in Tajamar was a controversy of international proportions, provoking protests of the inhabitants of Cancun and other parts of the world. It's now in Isla Blanca, on the mainland of Isla Mujeres, where the new mega-tourism project in Quintana Roo is being built. With an investment of 2 billion pesos, the project Ciudad Mujeres in the northern area of Quintana Roo is expected to be the third largest city in the state over the next three decades, with an economy based on tourism. As expected, this massive project has already caused some controversy. But why? What is the problem? Will this project benefit everyone alike, or are there reasons for concern? Today on The Travel Insider, we'll review this impending touristic development plan. Forty minutes away from the center of Cancun is the mainland area of Isla Mujeres, a coastal strip of more than 25 kilometers long, which faces the Caribbean Sea and the imposing lagoon of Chacmuchuch. This is where it's planned to build this new development that, along with Cancun and the Riviera Maya, will form this great tourist corridor, covering the main destinations of the Mexican Caribbean. In order to be able to do all this, changes will have to be made to the use of land permits currently issued in the areas of Isla Blanca and Barra de Chachmuchuch to allow its exploitation and tourist, commercial and housing use, which could leave this area unprotected and vulnerable to over-exploitation. Araceli Dominguez, president of the ecological group of the Mayab, says that the mega development would comp compromise several hectares of mangrove, forest and other habitats, not to mention its incompatibility with the management plan of the Costa Occidental National Park of Isla Mujeres, Punta Cancun and Punta Nizuc. Development can be done, but in line with environmental criteria and in low densities. The partial plan of urban development of the continental zone of the municipality of Isla Mujeres proposes the construction of 24,600 rooms in a period of 20 to 25 years. So far, three projects have begun construction. The Rio Costa Mujeres, which will have 753 rooms at 167,801 square meters. The Grand Palladium Paraíso Mujeres Resort and Spa, a tourist complex of 116,644 square meters. And the Atelier Hotel in Playa Mujeres, a resort of 593 rooms spread over an area of 116,644 square meters. The partial plan of urban development means that to exploit this area as a tourist destination would result in the development of housing, commercial and recreational areas for the future inhabitants of the new city that would adjoin Cancun. With all this, within 30 years Ciudad Mujeres would count on about 500,000 inhabitants in an area of more than 15,000 hectares. This will obviously create a huge population surge for Isla Mujeres, which is a far cry from its tiny fishing village roots 40 years ago. However, it will be extremely difficult not to move from sustainable development to environmental damage, as the area has large areas of mangroves that represent up to 11% of the total land on which tourism, real estate and urban resorts are projected. Despite the fact that environmental impact studies have been presented, conservationists still question the processes by which Semarnat approved some of the documents that allow this development, so they ensure that they promote legal resources to verify that the projects follow the law and thus to avoid an ecocide. Regulation in the construction of this project and careful planning in sustainable developments could achieve a balance with the ecosystem but it's very probable that it reaches touristic success. But if it were to get out of hand, the new development in Isla Blanca could follow the path of Cancun and Playa del Carmen with its trend of social impairments and urban disorder. But that's a story for another time. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media and leave a comment to let us know what you think.